Hey family, what's good? Welcome to my channel. I'm just out here trying to get a little exercise in. Happy Easter to you. Just out here trying to get a little exercise in today. Uh, yeah, <laughs> just a nice day. I told my husband, I gotta go. I, I gotta go work out. I gotta go do something. So came out here and did some stretches and a little power walking and some jump rope. So the thing that's on my mind on today is this. I received a phone call earlier and someone was telling me about their business venture and they were asking me questions um, about what they should do um, in order to uh, start this business. And one of the things that I noticed was they kept saying, yeah, because I talked to such and such and I talked to such and such, listen, let me help you with something real quick. All I need is a few minutes of your time. Don't forget to hit like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to share this video. It's gonna bless you. One of the things I learned being a business major, and not only that, but just being a boss, period. Yep, mm-hmm. Because everybody, everybody is not meant to run their own business. Some people are comfortable being just uh, the employee who come to work and clock in. Yeah, even the birds agree with me. But <laughs> some people are comfortable with being an employee who comes to work and just clock in and they call somebody else boss. There are other people I would suggest to you who um, the reason why they become nauseated when they pull up in that parking lot every morning to go into that place that they call the office or to go into that 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 job that they work um the reason why they become um just they almost hate to get out the car i, I would suggest to you that is because some people have overextended their stay in the classroom of being an employee see that should be a stepping stone for you that that should be an experience something for you to add to your resume that should that job should be the classroom for you and what i mean by that is it should be a lesson you should be learning from it you should see if they're unprofessional in there it lets you know not to do that when you start your business if they have structure and you see where they're organized and they're professional and um, it seems to be profitable you then you need to be documenting that you need a journal and, and, and some of you are good enough to have a, a, a mental journal and that's fine I got too much going on I, that much space up there to be storing okay so but let me say this to you let that job that office let it be an experience um it bothers me when I see people who stay at one job for 30 years and I, I know I know for some people you know that's an achievement for me I believe that you fell asleep on your dreams somebody somewhere told you that was not achievable um, if you stayed there 30 years and you're not on the board of directors by now or not even um, uh, the VP of the company, or not not even that, but start your own. I, I can see you being in a place for a certain amount of years. Those of you who are not bosses, those of you who believe that you are just an employee for life, I can see you investing all that sweat and tears and time into a place that is constantly advancing you, constantly pushing you forward. You used to be the secretary and now you're the VP. You know, I, I, I can kind of digest that a little better than versus someone who's been in a position for countless years and they're not making too much more than they were making when they came through the door. Not only that, but they're, they're still in the same position that they started in 30 something years ago. That's crazy to me. So um, anyway, I got this phone call, you know, I'd be all over the place, but I got this phone call and I was talking to um, this young man. I was telling him, first of all, I stopped him when he was like, yeah, because I was telling so-and-so, let me listen to me, family, listen, 
you bosses, those of you who are going from concept to reality, when you're in the concept stage, you can't tell people that. Why? Because first of all, everybody is not going to see your dream. Everybody is not going to share your vision. Everybody is not going to celebrate you. And I would even suggest to you that there are some people who become irritated by you having the dreams, by you being able to see further than where you are now. Some people are irritated by that. Why? Because they can't see that far. They can't even see their own life that far down the road. Nevertheless, your dream that you're trying to shove and push and, and receive validation for. Woo Listen to me on tonight. You better read your Bible. You better read um, in Genesis how Joseph own brothers, they, they became irritated by him because they said, here comes that dreamer. Look, look at him. Here comes that dreamer. And something happened to where they became envious and, and not everybody. But some people are malicious and they will become envious. The, the one who you pour in all your, all your concepts and your blueprints and you giving all your, your ideals and your suggestions to about your, your dream unfold. And sometimes those are the very ones you will look up and you'll be like, wow, when did she start this business? And you, oh, you start, you started the business that I've, I've been talking to you about. Oh yeah. I just, I just decided that I would. You know, it sounded like a good idea. And, and this is not to stop anybody else from advancing. But I'm telling you, I am telling you, some people are strategic um, because they don't have the ability to dream for themselves. They will steal your dreams. They will steal your dreams. They are dream shoplifters. Not only that, there are some people who will suck the life out of your vision because they can't see um, themselves being a boss. They can't see themselves advancing and being successful. They will tell you, and, and, and let me give you some, some language of, of these detractors, of, of, of people who, who could be secretly hating on you. Let me give you the languages that, that they use. They start the sentence, they start their statement off like this. Well, if I was you, oh, I, when I hear that, that triggers something from people that I'm talking to. Well, if I was you, you're not me. <laughs> you know, you're not me. And so I'm telling you on, to, on this evening, while the sun is going down, you know, I love sunrises and I love to see the sunset. I've learned to appreciate those small things during this pandemic, but let me just tell you this, family. So when they start off their sentence saying, if I was you, and, and then they give you their negative commentary, you already know what you're dealing with. You already know what you're dealing with. See, your problem is you don't know how to move in silence. Yeah, 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 yeah. Move in silence. Build your business. Plan. Have you a plan of action. Document. Learn. Learn from everywhere I go. I'm learn, I'm seeing ideals. I'm learning. I, even if I if I, I even if I go to Kroger's to get a case of water, you know, hmm, I like the way they advertise this. Uh, this is this is a good idea. You know, you have to learn how to you have to learn how to see stuff and learn from it. Everything is a life is a classroom. Period. And let me tell you something. The reason why you keep flunking, the reason why you've been saying for the last five years, I'm going to do something different, I'm going to do something different, and you keep doing the same. Somebody said that the definition of insanity was to keep doing the same thing, but expect a different result. <laughs> so listen to me. You know, how long, how long are you going to talk about it and not be about it? You want to write a book? Stop talking about it. Write the book. Stop asking people, well, what you think? What you think? Let me tell you something. It doesn't matter what they think. If you have dreams and you have aspirations, it does not matter what nobody else think. And, and you know, there's a saying that says the question, the, the what, what's that saying? It says that the question is not who will let me? But the question is, who's going to stop me? When you, you see, you almost have to adapt the mind. You almost have to uh, 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 adapt the mind of a, um, what do you call this? Uh, you, you, you almost have to become um, cutthroat. 
You need to um, have a cutthroat mentality when it comes to you pursuing your dreams. Pursue. Pursue. Don't let anybody talk you out of your dreams. Don't let anybody tell you it's not attainable. Don't let anybody tell you, well, if I were you, you know, no, you can, you have the power to put an end to that. Stop the dream killers. Start your business. Write the book. Open your restaurant. What do you want to do? What you know? Um, produce your film. You don't let any because, and 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 I always, I always tell people this. You know, one of the reasons why you don't see eagles and buzzards fly together because they fly two different altitudes. Eagles soar and they go high in the sky. Buzzards flutter. And they can only go so high. Ooh, come on. Who am I talking to tonight? So I'm telling you on tonight, you be encouraged. If you know that deep on the inside, you are a boss, then you ought to start carrying yourself like a boss. You, you, you just, you just ought to start, start showing up because see, you got a plan. And when you have a plan, <laughs> you don't show up to work because you have to. You show up to work because this is the classroom for me. So when I open my business, I know the do's and don'ts of business. Ooh, glory to God. And you need to get around some visionaries. See, your problem is the reason why you keep getting talked out of your dreams, because your problem is the ones, the people that the circle that you're in, they, they can't see nothing. They can't see nothing but 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 partying and and hanging out and, and, and buying all these expensive clothes. And all. Uh, 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 uh. You need to move different. You need to move different. First of all, you need to move in silence. You move in silence. And when you have your grand opening, that's 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 when everybody will know about it. We ain't know you was doing that. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I was busy. You know, get busy. Get busy. And you know what? Now is the time. Now is the time because you know, with everything that has happened. There are some good things that have come out of this pandemic. They they are trying to help people who are new business owners. Um, they're, they're, they you you have you even have people who will help you start up a business. You know, so let me tell you, don't get distracted by all this stuff that's going on out here. Don't you don't have time to be be running with people who are not visionaries. You need to get on your job and you need to do what it is that you were destined to do. You were purposed to be a boss. You were born to do this. You are built for this. At this point, stop having dialogue and unnecessary commentary back and forth with people about what you're gonna do. Don't do that no more. Start your business. Be the boss. Go from concept to reality silently. <laughs> and then when, when you're in the concept, concept stage you're like a sponge you got to constantly um take in all that knowledge all that experience and then it will be it will it will happen shorter than you think from concept to reality and then when you get into reality and when you're cutting the ribbon for your grand opening then that's when you make your announcement welcome to my place <laughs> you understand what i'm saying yeah so i'm telling you on tonight that um you can do this. You can do it. But do it silently. Make moves. Network. Connect with the, the people that you need to connect with for your business to be um, successful and for your business to, um, to be profitable. But stop entertaining those who don't have business mentality and, and stop explaining to people and, and telling people the blueprint of your vision. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you for your time. God bless you on tonight. And I'll tell you what, I would love to hear your testimony when, after you go from concept to reality, hit me up. I would leave me a comment. Tell me what inbox me, whatever. I would love to hear your testimony about how these words really, really ministered to you and you needed this push so you can go to the next level and be what it is you are purposed to be. God bless you on tonight and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.